exams start next week and we are still in a pandemic. Covid is still around and is still very very serious concern for some people so this is a little mini series specifically on covid and exams so i'm going to be looking at what happens if you test positive the morning of the exam that's what i'm going to talk about in this video what happens if you are concerned about going into an exam hall where people might potentially be positive if you're shielding or if you're worried about somebody at home and then what happens if you actually miss an exam due to covid so first video of three what happens if you actually test positive the morning of an exam If on the morning of your exam you wake up with COVID-like symptoms, so the traditional cough, loss of smell or high temperature, or if you actually have tested positive that morning or the day before, then the current advice from the government, the current advice from the UK HSA, which is what Public Health England is now called, is to stay at home and miss your exam. Now, I know for some of you that'd be a very, very welcome idea of missing an exam. For some of you, that idea would be absolutely horrifying of missing an exam. But that is what the current government advice is to stay at home and miss your exam. You do not need to prove to schools in any way that you actually have COVID. They don't need to see a positive test results, especially considering we now need to pay for lateral flow tests. So, you're unlikely to have lots lying around at home if any school are going to be unlikely to provide you with lateral flow tests on the morning of the exam if you turn up and you don't have time to book and get your results back from a PCR test if you test positive on that morning. So even if you suspect that you have COVID, the advice is to stay at home and you do not need to provide proof to your school. Now, this is the current advice at the time that I'm currently making this video, which I'm gonna put out today. So this is the advice today. However, advice is changing pretty quickly. We know the government do like to change things and then tell us that they've changed it without giving us too much actual notice. So the advice might have changed, but currently it's stay at home. You do not need to provide proof. You'll be given exam grades based on special considerations for this year's exams. And these are not anything to do with your teachers. These are all the exam boards. Now the exams are spaced out. So the first and last exam in any exam series, any like maths paper one, maths paper three, are 10 days apart. So the point is that if you are ill for maths paper one, you should have recovered by the time maths paper three comes around. So as long as you've sat an exam, you should be able to get special considerations. Again, you do not need to have proved to your school that you've got COVID, but you do need to get a form of your exams officer. They should give you the form that you're going to need to fill in to say, this is why you've missed this exam. This is why you've got this part. So you can't just not turn up and not tell anybody. Definitely tell your school in advance. Now, some people are going to ignore the advice. Some people are not going to want to stay at home and miss the exams because you guys have worked so, so hard and lots of you are going to want the chance to prove yourself. So going against government advice and actually going into school while you are either feeling unwell or while you actually have tested positive. The school can refuse to admit you to that exam if they know you've tested positive or if they suspect that you're positive. What they might do is uh, either refuse you or provide you with an alternative place to sit at the exam. So they might have separate rooms set up, maybe two, three, four, five, twenty separate rooms set up for isolation exam rooms where people who are either positive or suspect they're positive can go and still sit their exams in isolation away from other people but this is going to be very very dependent on your school chances are you're not going to know in advance how many there are um, if they're available at all or if on the morning exam like that all full up so the thing that you should do in this situation is actually talk to your school and get advice from them it is going to be on such an individual level based on like the size of school the number of invigilators available and what type of exam it actually is so i can't really answer those questions it is going to be your school to answer those questions for you. I can see this really adding to the stress and the trauma of this year and the potential worry if you're sitting in an exam hall, um, worry that other people that are in the same room as you have tested positive, which then might 
spread I don't know and then affect that your exams later on I can see this just being another whole massive thing that's really really adding to people's stress at the moment and um, but I'm going to try and do my very very best to keep you informed and produce as many things to help you as I can you and me guys we've got this ouch This is why in some videos I have unexplained scratches.